Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and today I am kicking off a very exciting new video series called Will It Blend? Also known as Will It Blend? Or Will It Blend? Will It Blend? Is it gonna blend? I don't know, we're about to find out though. So in this first video, I'm gonna explain to you how this works and then I'm gonna make it happen. We're gonna be blending some delicious whiskey, I think, I hope, I have no idea. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. I got a deck of cards right here. This is a stack of cards. It is comprised of three decks worth of twos, threes, fours, fives, and some wild cards. We'll get to those wild cards in a second, but the twos, threes, fours, and fives. So whatever card I draw out, if it's a two, let's just say it's a two. If I draw out a two, that means this blend is going to have two different whiskeys. Those whiskeys can either be rice, bourbons, or American whiskeys. We've got all those on the shelf, so there are a lot to choose from. I think there are about 172. So, so back to that Joker card that I was talking about, that wild card. There are some wild cards in this deck. They're Jokers, and they're marked. Some of them say Dara's Blend. So I'll just pick whatever number of blends and put that together in a blend. There's one that says Bill's blend. He'll make a blend and then I'll see if it works. And then there's another one. That one is for bad whiskeys. We're talking Dickel Tabasco, Wabash Reserve, things like that. So I would blend those together for a blend and that would be absolutely disgusting, but it might not be as bad as it sounds. Who knows? So that's how the cards work, right? When I draw a card, it's gonna tell me how many whiskeys I'm gonna blend. Then from there, I have a randomizer. I'm gonna hit a little button on my phone. I'm gonna randomize it like based on however many blends of whiskey it is. So like I said, two was my example earlier. So I'll have it randomly give me two numbers. Then those two numbers are gonna correspond with something on our whiskey sheet because like Bill has put this ridiculous whiskey spreadsheet together. It's amazing. I'm not super great at doing that kind of stuff, but Bill put it together. So they're all in a random order. And those two numbers will correspond with a number on the spreadsheet. And that will tell me the whiskeys that are gonna go into my blend. And then I'm going to let it set for at least 30 minutes, blend it together, close it up in one of my little containers and let it set, let it, blend together for a while, and then I'm going to review it and tell you what I think of it. How does that sound to you? Sounds exciting to me. I'm pretty pumped. If I just confused the heck out of you with all my wording, so sorry about that. Now the fun part comes in. So excited. Let's do this. Got the cards in front of me. Now let's spread these suckers out. This is actually my favorite part right here. No, I'm just kidding. It might not be my favorite card, but I love playing cards. I love blackjack. I like gambling a little bit. So having cards is kind of fun for me. Okay, so I've got these kind of spread out a little bit. Now I am going to pick one card. Woo, here we go. We're gonna find out how many whiskeys are going into this blend. This could be really bad or really good, who knows? We're gonna find out though. So I'm just gonna go working about magic. Pulling a card of whiskey card. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I haven't even looked yet. All right, I am putting two whiskey. How, how funny is that? Literally, it's a two, which is kind of funny because I was just using two as an example a little bit ago. So only two, and those are going to be half ounce pours. Every time I do this, it's just gonna be a half ounce pour. So got two. That's the answer to how many whiskeys are going into this blend. So it's gonna be a one ounce blend of two whiskeys. Now let's use the randomizer on my little phone here. Shake it, got one number, shake it. I got two numbers. All right, so those two numbers are 18 and 52. I just shook it and it gave me numbers, 18 and 52. So that means whatever those numbers correspond with on the spreadsheet, those are gonna be the whiskeys. Now I gotta step away to figure out what those are. Okay, we're back and as you can tell, I have two bourbons in front of me that are both 100 proof, 
What are the freaking odds? Like literally, what are the odds? I have a Rebel 100. I have Remus Repeal Reserve 5, which is one of my all time favorite whiskeys. So now it's time to get to pouring these babies. I did say a half ounce pour. So I don't think this blend is gonna be that bad. Could have had much worse options going together. Now we got two bourbons. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're about to find out. So it is time to get pouring. All right, now that I spilled this everywhere and I got a, a mess made, I have a half ounce of each one in this little cute little aged in or carry travel thing, majigger. It's really handy actually. And it does say one ounce exactly on there. I like this thing. This is not an ad for Agent Ore, but these, this travel case is so cool. And it's like fat and fluffy. I love it. Anyhow, I got the blends poured. So let me just set a timer so I'm at least at 30 minutes. All right, got a timer. It's time to see if this is gonna blend. See ya in 30 minutes at least. 30 minutes, probably longer. All right, here we go. All right, I'm back. I'm here. Got this baby bad boy in front of me. Now it's time to crack it open. It's been sitting in this jar for, uh, it's been over 30 minutes, probably closer to 45 or an hour. Let's dump it in this Glen Karen. I'm making a mess again. Why do I always do this? I'm such a messy person. I'm not very good. I should have like just tipped it a little bit, but I didn't. Okay, so got this in my glass. Now that I've wiped up my mess. Again, got the Rebel 100. And we have Remus Repeal Reserve 5. So now, let's see how this sucker smells on the nose. I love Remus Repeal Reserve 5 by itself. I think Rebel 100 is okay. I know it's one of those under $20 bottles. I think it finished second or somewhere in the top of our, our budget bourbons. Like our, our under $20 budget bourbons. So, I don't know. We'll see how this one is. All right. On the nose, it doesn't, it doesn't smell that bad. I've got some, a little bit of oakiness, a little bit of, maybe like cream soda. Um, a little bit of, maybe like a little bit of corn actually. It kind of smells a little bit like cream corn, but not bad, not bad. A little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, it actually doesn't smell bad at all, really. Just got it. This is like the first time I'm smelling this straight out of the jar, and it's really not that bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's give it a little swig, taste it up here. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So I get a lot of the flavors that I get out of the Remus Repeal Reserve 5 by itself. It's not as good as it is by itself. But I do get a little bit of sweetness right up front. Get some of that cinnamon, some vanilla, some creaminess actually that's not bad at all. So um, I gotta take another swig of that. Actually, it reminds me of like a creamy vanilla cupcake that has some of that vanilla bean in it and maybe like a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on the top. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. It is not bad at all. The finish, it dries out a little bit, but the flavor remains there. And I do get quite a bit of cinnamon on this one on the finish. That is pretty enjoyable. It's, I'm actually surprised. This really isn't that bad. It really is not. It actually has quite a bit of a red hot taste to it, actually. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Mm. So now we're down to the question. Not that means. We're down to the question of will it blend? And the answer is ding. Yes, it will blend. You can blend Rebel 100 and Remus Repeal Reserve 5 evenly and it tastes pretty darn good. Not bad at all. I would actually recommend this one. So if you got these two bottles at home, you want to give it a try, I dare you. 
I dare ya. So I guess that's all we've got for episode one of Will It Blend? Be sure to check back for episode two. We're going to have it out every Tuesday right here on The Average Drinker. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back with more, and I'll see you next time. 